There is a, a beautiful tapestry tradition in France, but just like with baking bread, I mean, where does all that come from? It all comes from Mesopotamia, and I mean, they are like the birth of civilization. The Mediation Lab foresees traveling crafts for social change is UNSAD's second contribution to the European Creative Europe Cooperation Project foresees. Its objective is to explore how culture and creativity can be effective resources for addressing emerging forms of conflict and imagining solutions. Over a period of one year, a team composed of four migrant craftsmen or expert newcomers, as we prefer to call them, students, designers and researchers, shared their respective skills in a co-creative design context. of the exercise was to co-create pedagogical tools for the transmission of know-hows proper to the practice of each craftsman. The resulting design pedagogy based on a horizontal model shows the richness of each know-how and its potential. It reinforces the self-esteem of each expert newcomer and valorizes his or her craft. Effectivement, de mettre en avant le travail, l'expertise, le talent de migrants qui sont designers ou architectes, etc. Qui malheureusement souffrent d'une image souvent négative ou le fait de mettre en avant ces pratiques-là, je trouve ça très intéressant. Du lien intergénérationnel, des transmissions. De... Je pense que c'est important comme ça de garder nos mémoires vivantes. C'est une chance de continuer de travailler dans la profession, dans leur nouveau home, et ne pas devoir. To... To lower their 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 qualification standards. Got got into my heart because you know I also have parents from a different country and we live there and it's really interesting to see the mix of different cultures and how they just flourish when they work together. For me, there is a difference between uh, implicating and explicating. If you implicate people, they you put them in the situation of learning and they become part of it and you come out and actually here with Karim for example with the that I learned today to make uh, to make knots in the in tapestry with uh, with Karim and um, I, I always was interested in, in tapestry I have an education myself in weaving so but knotting I, I never understood and it's crazy because it's just one movement you know you take the hook you put the thing you hold it with your fingers you go and get it back and it's down and you and you make one knot but before you have the right gesture, it takes you like a hundred times trying. The Mediation Lab, as a place of shared experimentation, enabled recognition of the newcomer's expertise by the greatest number of people in a highly stimulating and creative context. The lab was structured in three key stages, the time of revelation, the time of transmission, and the time of valorization of each expertise. The revelation phase, in partnership with Emmaüs Les Résilients, brought out the know-how of expert newcomers through the creation of collaborative works based on creativity, ingenuity, and collective intelligence. The transmission phase resulted in the co-creation of ad hoc transmission tool capable of being adapted to different contexts and making possible the production of objects by the general public. This confirmed the value of the design pedagogy.
If there is no transmission, if there is no understanding, then you are. Uh, you can only look at each other from your own ideas about who someone is. Uh, and so a newcomer or a migrant, like you said, they are just that frame. But if I learn from from Karim to to weave, then, then he becomes so many other things. He becomes uh, a person that came from Afghanistan, that started to weave, that has a meeting at six o'clock now with a person who wants to buy a carpet from him. Uh, so you, you just get to know everybody's needs and urgency and I think if you if you understand that then living together becomes uh, much more easy or at least it becomes a possibility et, euh, et donc lui lui il s'intéresse beaucoup euh, par sa, ses spécificités sensorielles à la sculpture et pour lui c'est un vrai langage de d'expression parce qu'il peut mm -hmm. même pallier à des, des difficultés mm -hmm. de langage euh, mm -hmm. Le langage plastique est important pour lui. Et, euh, et aussi, justement, ce rapport à la différence, justement, mm -hmm. que, que lui euh, vit euh, de mm -hmm. toute façon aussi. Donc, donc tout l'ensemble de l'esprit de l'atelier euh, fait écho. Enfin, on est tout à fait, euh, mm -hmm. tout à fait dans cette euh, logique-là. Enfin, on l'a bien apprécié, hein, Louis. Mm -hmm. Qu'est-ce que tu as construit comme bâtiment on a, on a un bâtiment de lettres. Et, et moi, j'ai vu des gens dans le bâtiment de lettres. And especially if you can put these newcomers in touch with children. Like here at the workshop, they are explaining that uh, when you make a knot, it's like with pixels in an image. But the, jo the joke is, of course, that the computer, the computer is inspired by the Jacquard machine. So weaving is what inspired computers in the first place. But now we explain weaving with pixels. So this is the strange uh, loop that we are in right now in 21st century. And I think it can be like, for example, here with the tapestry, what is being taught is just the incredible slowness and patience you need and uh, you have to be precise you know if you mess up like i messed up a few knots i mean if you mess up you have to go all the way back il y a quelque chose de transversal que je trouve très intéressant de partir de là de ces pratiques là de ces expertises et de la réalité aussi de ces migrants aujourd'hui dans nos pays en europe euh, je trouve ça très bien et puis moi encore une fois de, de voir des gamins dans un atelier comme ça qui vont euh, à travers des euh, des pratiques de maquettage ou euh, d'imaginer différentes, différentes possibilités, euh, je trouve ça assez constructif. Et de les mettre en relation avec les artistes, puisque les artistes sont là, ça c'est aussi important. Donc du coup, il y a, on est dans quelque chose d'assez concret, pas abstrait, donc euh, c'est donc important. Et, et puis dans ce lieu qui est euh, ouvert au public à la Villette, je trouve ça aussi très bien. The valorization phase was an opportunity to celebrate each other's know-how and to share transmission and revelation experiences through different institutions and public events. The Centre Georges Pompidou, the Villa Makers, INSAD, and the event La Roue aux Enfants. While we can consider that the Mediation Lab was a success, valorizing and sharing the know-how of migrant craftsmen, also of interest here was and is the use of a design approach to co-create pedagogical tools for sharing and transmitting the newcomers' know-hows. <laughs> 